Lord, guys, I have had this box, according to the manifest, since May. This box has been in my basement for a year. But, it's a part of my big surprise. So, go grab a drink, grab a snack, pull your chair up, and let's see what I'm going to be doing with this box. See you in a bit. Jeez Louise. <laughs> One thing I can tell you about that box that came from the auction house was it was well packed. Very well packed. Um, it was all ephemera. And I like to never got that bubble wrap off that stuff. <laughs> Don't know how much of that we'll be reusing. But anywho, I went ahead and unwrapped all of the little packets that they put in there. And this was an auction. So... You'll see all the lots are individually bagged, with the exception of the two albums that I got. So, I'm not going to show you every single piece of ephemera, because it's a lot. But, we'll take a look at what's special in here, okay? So, let's see. I guess I probably could have uh, untaped these envelopes for you, but I didn't. So, some of you are probably wondering, LaDonna, girl, why was that box in your basement for a year? Well, a couple of reasons. One, um, when I started buying some of these lots, I had not set up my store. In fact, I was trying to debate on how I was going to be selling things. Um, and then the other is, honestly, I have a full-time job. So I can only do this during my lunch hour or after we work or on the weekend. So... There ain't enough hours in the day, people, to do this. <laughs> but we will get there. So, this lot looks like it was a lot of um, Christmas postcards. And they're in really, really good condition. Check this one out. Um, it's from 1910. And I'm, I'm going to preference all of this I'm gonna tell you yes I need to go get my nails done so if chip nails are a thing for you you know a major issue then you might want to scroll on just scroll on through you know cuz I don't know why it upsets people I personally feel like as long as my nails are clean what's the problem but I don't know there are people out there that have a problem with chip nails, apparently. So, we'll see. Look at this one. Look how cute that one is. So, yeah, you're going to see some chip nails today. It is what it is. I'm going to go this weekend and get that taken care of, but, you know, do it when I have time. You have a New Year's Eve. These are, like I said, these are in great, great condition. Look at that one. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to flip through here and find some that are really, like, cooler than the rest. Um, oh, this one's pretty. Look at this. Easter one with the poppies. How many times you find with pop and clover? Oh, look at that! It's got clover. It's an Easter postcard though. That's interesting. 
And there's a turkey. Ooh, I like this one. Look at this one. For Valentine's. Ooh, little Nikki. Nikki baby. <laughs> and another New Year's. It's kind of cool because I don't have a, a ton of New Year's um, postcards. I have some, but not as many um, as I do in other categories. So, all right. Let me open up another one for you. Okay. Let's see. I went ahead and opened some of these. Um, so maybe it could go a little bit quicker, but oh my goodness, these are, I don't want to complain because they were, they're wrapped really well, but they're wrapped really well on the other hand. So these were, um, oh goodness. Think we're the Sunbonnet series. So this, so these are from um, 1906. So you have Saturday, and you have Monday, you have Sunday, you have Friday. <laughs> You have a dog barking. Goodness. We have Tuesday. And we have Thursday. I think I have the whole series of those. And then, let's see what was in this one. This one says advertising postcards. We shall see about that. Oh, this is um, the Hershey Cows. Did you know there was a thing as a Hershey Cow? It's an interesting postcard. What's interesting about it is the size. I don't think I've come across one like that. It hasn't been cut. So that's its size, and it's not used. And then this was a business. See the advertising on the top. This one is for the Marshall Oil Company. Uh, Waterworks Park in Detroit, Michigan. The Brooklyn Bridge. Check that one out. And look at the back. How cool is that? I have not gotten into um, advertisements on um, postcards before. And this is another Waterworks part, um, Detroit. But look at the side. It tells you their appointment time. That cool. Then here's the White Lily Manufacturing out of Davenport, Iowa. And on the back it tells you it's like a receipt. That's different. Ooh, this is cool. This is a neat one. This is uh, Arxarbon from 1908. And it is a business card. Look at this. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever come across one like that before. That is cool. This is going to take me a little time to research. And then, uh, this is on uh, Chicago, the Mandel Brothers building. 
and it is communication to this person from them. And then uh, this is a steamer. Again, it's an appointment. This one is 1908. Yep, yeah. okay. Uh, don't get upset by this one. I'm just warning you. So this is the and because I, I don't think it's what what you think. Um, it's called the Republican House in Milwaukee. I don't think it's political, but you might think it's political. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Here's a another uh, appointment card from a business. And then the last one, ooh, this is cool. Guys, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to look at these and figure out what's up with these. But this is Panama, California Exposition, San Diego, Panama, California Exposition, 1915. Completion of the Panama Canal. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? And this one is, 1910 on the back. So, I, mean, I think these are special. I don't mean they're not your average one of the mill postcards. So, I am going to have to do some homework on these. <laughs> That's okay. There are plenty of hours in the day, right? Right? I don't know. I think they're special. So I'm sure someone out in the Finma land can tell me more about them. I might have to reach out to a couple people. So this is another stack of um, holiday cards. Um, oh, look at this one. This is pretty for Valentine's. This is from 1905. Um, another New Year's postcard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Um, this is a Valentine's one. Check out that. Ooh, oh my goodness. This is an interesting St. Patrick's one. Look at that. Snakes and St. Patrick's Day. Why? We have an Easter one. Oh, we have a leather Easter. I haven't gotten a leather Easter before. That one. Ooh, this is so cute. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. These are great. I forgot all about these. Ooh. I've seen embossed ones before, you know, the puppy embossed ones, but they're usually a flower. Look at this one. How cool is that one? It's a steam engine. Oh, that is so cool. It is written on, but there's no postmark on it. And then we have this one. These are really good. Um, yeah, I've got homework. i got a lot of homework, guys. Oh my goodness. Let's see. These, I think are like 4th of July, Memori Memorial Day. This is nice. I think this one would be more for like Memorial Day. Um, there is Jennings Bryan, Brian Jenny. I don't know this one. What happened on February twenty second? 
tell me this because I don't know. What was February 22nd? Does it? doesn't tell me and I don't recall I don't recall off the top of my head do you guys remember was it must have been a battle I have to I have to look into that and there's this one Washington on his way to Battle of Trenton and, and then you have this presidential one. So what do you guys think of these so far? Let me know. Do you like ephemera videos? Let me know. Lord knows I got ephemera for days. This one is pretty. This, I would probably say more for Valentine's, but it's interesting because it's like a colorized, but then you've got the gold and then you've got the fountain. Um, this one's 1910, and there's some itty bitty writing on it. <laughs> reading cursive is hard enough, but reading itty bitty cursive is a challenge. Um, and then, oh, how sweet is this postcard? That is pretty. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. <sighs> Word. Word. This is what I would like to tell some of these online trolls. That. That. Don't hide behind your keyboard. <laughs> oh, I said I wasn't going to show you all of these, but some of these are really good. Oh, this is really pretty. That is quite lovely. Um... Oh, okay. Oh, this is another one of those weird shaped ones. How pretty is that? Oh, that would be really pretty. Uh, like with a mat and framed. Oh, love that. Love that. Ooh, I like this one too. Look at that. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Those are so pretty. Along with that one. Okay. I, whatever. It, why? Children with a gun. Really? Hey, different times. Different times, people. Different times. That, uh, that one's pretty, too. Ooh. Look at this one. It's like a seashore with the sail or with the old boats in the in the back. Um, oh, another one of those weird shaped ones. These are so pretty. They're so detailed. I mean, look at that. That's more like art. All right, this is kind of cute. A bear and dressed up in a suit. <laughs> oh, and this one's pretty too. Oh my goodness, guys. Mm -mm -mm. What do you think? Okay, I went ahead and undid the tape on these. These look like, these are trade cards. Oh, there's some really pretty ones in here. Look at this one. 
And this was um, advertisement for tooth polish. And then we have one for cologne. Look at these. They're so good. This one is for a sewing machine company. So this is the advertisement. Now, what's on the front is not what I would expect. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And we have one for thread. Um. <laughs> oh my God. Why? This is uh, Ayers Ag Cure. Uh, and then here's all about the product. I thought it was going to be tobacco. It's not. Um, this is for shoes because, like, you are going to get shoes out of that picture. Um. Okay, so. I'll show you this one and then we'll talk about the next one. Um, this one is a thread. Uh, at first you would think it's fishing, but it's thread. So if you look closer, his reel is the um, thread spool. And there's the advertisement. So, um, Back in the day, there was a different view on Black Americana. So, there is a Black Americana card in here. Um, yeah. The, I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do with some of the Black Americana. Um, it's certainly not something that I would list. Um, however, if you collect... Black Americana, we can talk about it, um, but don't get upset, don't get triggered. But here is the trade card for this um, vinegar it's from a grocery store. So, again, it's not something I would list, but I know there are collectors out there for that sort of thing. Um, you know, certainly reach out to me and we can talk about it. Uh, you know, I'd rather it go to a collector and then say, you know, in the trash, so to speak, because it is history. Whether we like it or not, it is our history. So here's a New Year's postcard. I don't think I've ever come across one with a snowman on it and ooh, I'll have to see let's see e. okay there's this New Year's postcard and when I was saying it over it's because it did have tape on there now that tape had already done that damage unfortunately but I went ahead and, and removed it. Um, I have, there are some other Black Americana cards in here, and I am not, frankly, going to show those. I don't particularly care for the graphic on them. I'll just leave it at that. So, next, and this deck of postcards, um, 
this is Mixed Arts Romance and Birthdays. I just love the graphics on these. Look how pretty this is. Again, that. Um, the Village Blacksmith. I don't really come across that type often. That's pretty. Oh, and this is a different sort. Look at this. It's horse and buggy, but then you see the old car over in the corner. How pretty is that? It is a beautiful card in person. Oh, I like this one too. And it's simplicity. And then we have this one. Definitely have to get these sleeved up. And here's another one of the um, black and white. And they're kind of... Um, don't know how to explain it. They have a bit of a sheen to them. It's kind of interesting. This one is winter sports. Look at that. I have not um, gotten any of this style before. I'm sure there's a complicated name for them as with anything, but these are beautiful. We have this one. Oh, I like this. Um, you know, you see the black and white, but I like the uh, monochromatic, I think. It's in, or, or sienna. It's in the browns. Isn't that pretty? Oh, here's another one that would be pretty framed as art for that. These uh, portrait ones, I am really liking. Mm -hmm. It does have an artist's name, like, at the bottom. this one. Y'all know I have cats. <laughs> uh, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh and this one's kind of pretty. You've got the scene of the um, the man and the woman, both in in different locations, and then there's a um, a scene down here at the bottom um, talking about missing each other. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That postcard was hilarious, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Definitely need to get these put in sleeves. I thought when I bought them they were going to send the sleeves, but they apparently decided to keep the sleeves. That's okay. I have plenty. And these are advertisements. Here's um, another trade card for Cologne. They do have their product on the back. Um, oh, this one's for a jeweler. I haven't gotten a jeweler one before. I have tons of trait cards, but I don't have one like that. This is pretty. This is another one that could be framed for art. And this is, um, for a company out of Minneapolis. <sighs> Again. Who comes up with these graphics? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, this is for cologne. 
And then we have this one. And this one. Well, this is different. Oh, okay. It's folded in half. That's why I was like, oh, this is kind of weird. So, uh, advertisement for a jacket. And we have um, advertisement for a shoe. These are all trade cards, like I was saying. That one. And then we have this one. He looks like he is up to no good. This one was uh, for a confectionery store. These are good. These are so good, y'all. I had forgotten all about what these look like. She has had a rough day. I'm telling you, she has had a rough day. And then there's one for perfume. Uh, Happy New Year's. Oh, this is pretty. This is for um, a newspaper publisher. Oh, this one's pretty. This is uh, for a piano company because it makes sense that she's playing a string instrument and it's for a piano company. Because that makes sense, right? Well, you know, trade cards never uh, had to make sense, but that's an example. And then, okay. And we have this one. And it is an advertisement that it is only attached on one side now. How pretty is that? They'll definitely need to get these sleeved and protected. This is a merit award. Scrumo reward cards. That neat. This one. Oh, another cute little cat one. Ooh, this is a good one, guys. I have to check. I think I have this one. If I have this one, it will be coming up. If I don't have it, you can't have it. How cool is that? It is a mermaid. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that. But I think I have one. I think. <laughs> I can't for the cat. I can't. Look. What? You're pulling its tail. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. And we had this one. So, let's see. Okay. Now, oh, these were, uh, Anthropomorphic cards. Look at this one. You're the apple of my eye. Your hair is a little... <laughs> Your hair is a little beat, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, God. And then we 
have a 4th of July. Ooh, this is cool. We have a Cracker Jack one. Look at that. It's from Cracker Jacks. They're going over Niagara Falls. How funny is that? It's another one of those weird shaped cards. Okay, one more set of postcards. And then we'll see what's in these other two bags. Oh, this is pretty. It's a New Year's. And it's the embossed one, but it's got the moon. So, and I know I'm not showing you all these postcards. Um, I'm just trying to show you the ones that are more special. I mean, they're all pretty. Um, but I think I want to just show you the ones that I think stand out more to me. And this is pretty. Look at that. Valentine's lumberjack, I guess. I don't know, people. I don't know. Ooh, this is a pretty Thanksgiving one. These are all antique. These are 1910. Um, more Christmas, Christmas, more Christmas. So, okay. So that was all um, your standard postcards. Now we have these to go through. Okay, so these are postcards, but they're, I don't know, they're a little different. They're in like books and folders, post folder is what they called this one. So if I open it up, there are several of postcards that look like they're all Canadian based. Canadian, uh, Canadian Rockies like where that series is from. Yeah, from Banff and vicinity, Canada. It's a really pretty little folder that it comes in. And then we have uh, one that's New York with the Washington Bridge and on the inside we have several of the more famous New York Bridge. Ooh, look at that. When you fold it out, it is a panorama. Ooh, look at that. I wonder. And then on the back, we have the individual ones individual buildings. So, I wonder Yeah, I wonder um, what the what's the value on the New York skyline post Trade Center, when, I don't even know what the date was on this. Um, so I wonder what the value is on some of these buildings. If some of these buildings are still there, or not there, maybe there's no value. I don't know. We'll see. I'm really not sure. Hmm. I don't know what year this is from because there's no postmark. Hmm. And then the last postcard souvenir folder 
is from Estes Park. And the postage would have been one and a half cents without a message. So if you put a message on here, it costs more money. It's kind of funny. So, okay, and this one is not a panorama, but it's different places in Estes Park. So, so that was that one. Now we have this little bag of ephemera. I can't remember off the top of my head what all was in there. I think it was just all loose. So let me flip through and see what we have. It's interesting. Um, some kind of um, instructions on poultry mixture and perfection insect destroyer. I don't know. I don't know. No idea. Yeah, some of this is just like um, some scraps. Uh, I'm guessing these are like pieces that she was saving to, you know, scrap with or something. Because um, there's like some, you know, little calling card bits and bobs in here. Um, an advertisement for Crown Pianos. Another Merit. So we have an old envelope in here. Um, a little New Year's. Um, this one says Devotion. This, uh, my son giveth me thine heart. And this sample of reward card. Ooh, this is cute. So I have like, um, oh, this is a little booklet. So I have this, but if you open it, it's like a little booklet um, to wish you every joy. Uh, hmm. So sometimes I'll have to go through and decide what to, um, like maybe make an ephemera lot, because um, I have a whole bunch of ephemera, um, and what makes sense to sell individually. Um, this. Ooh, I know. Whoa. This is like um, bark. This is like... I have not come across one of these before, but this is like... It is tree bark. Look at that. And it is like, you know, very thin sheets of tree bark. Mmm. -hmm. And then there's um, also this this ephemera, you know, which would make sense in like a like in a scrap, you know, packet kind of thing. Um, and we have this, and it's like a little card. Um. More trade cards, this, this. Oh, that's pretty, be my guy. You know, and then here's thing, something again, like I said, it, it would probably be like a, you know, for scrapping kind of thing. I like that. 
Um, all right. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. It says it pays to keep up appearances. To look shabby condemns a man. Look prosperous even if you're not. One of the things that helps to give a man with unprosperous air is to be without a watch. It makes a person seem either erratic or thoughtless. A watch goes far to enhance one's respectability. The Waterbury is an unpretentious but tasty watch. It costs a trifle. <laughs> so this whole thing is about getting a watch. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have another merit award. Another um, calling card. More calling card. A reward. Oh my goodness. What is it with the cats? This lady must like cats. Look at that. scrap. Oh my goodness. Uh, ooh. Oh, this one's cool. This little red riding hood. Check that one out. That one would be an example of something to be on its own, I think. That. That one. Yeah, this is really pretty, but it's in rough shape. Uh, oh, that was nice. Aw. Oh. Like I said, I think she had a thing for cats. Another scrap. Okay, well that's different. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like an oddity scrap. <laughs> And then you have some flowers. Another, uh, well, oh, this is pretty. That is so sweet. Um, okay, what is this? All right. Another piece of advertisement. She is over it. Let me tell you. She is... Just over it. Look how pretty that is. Somebody could make some really pretty stuff with this. Oh, I like that one too. Um, ooh, this is falling apart. Here, my neighbor. Some more floral. I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. Um, this is a little. It's a little book. Um, Flowers of Faith. A little text book, and it's got several. Several little sayings and graphics. <laughs> oh my gosh. More, more, more floral. Um, pieces of stuff. I don't know that I'm afraid to touch too much in here. Goodness. I mean, like, there's this scrap of paper that she saved with that border. All right. Um, that is so faded that you can't even tell what was on it. I see the embossment. Oh, that's because it's on the other side. 
So that's what was in there. So a couple of pieces I think would be better individual, but some of them, um, well, the majority of it, I think would go like in a, kind of an ephemera scrap type lot. What do you think? Is that what you would do with it? Okay, so that was that. Oof, it's made a mess. Then, the last two things were these two. So, these are both look like postcard albums. Um, and says it would hold 140 cards but could be expanded. So let's see. We have this is really pretty. We have this embossed Christmas. Uh, see, there is a Thanksgiving card in here. One thing I'm going to have to decide is whether I pull these out or if I sell it with the cards in it. Look at the Thanksgiving. Um, oh, is this like um? Look at the tree. On the, Check the tree out on that one. Because you, because you know if there's a Halloween card in here, it's coming out. I'm just going to tell you right now. So, so some of these in here are like places, some are holiday. Um, ooh, that's different. Look at this. Have you seen a postcard like that? Yes, it did get mailed like that. Crazy. My neighbor's out in his yard. He's probably thinking, what is she doing? Um, so some of these are like place cards. That's why I'm flipping through. Hold on. So I'm kind of flipping, I'm kind of flipping through those because those aren't as exciting. Ooh. I have not gotten a stork postcard before. Check that one out. Mm. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Look at this one. Uh, Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that one. Oh, I like this one where she's sitting on the bench looking out at the lake. is pretty much oh, that's so different look at this one look at the cupid so that is kind of what was in that one i mean there were a few exceptional ones now what's in this one now yes i know i could have done a picture down I could have shown you everything that was in here. I could have done a lot of things. Someone is probably going to complain. Um, reality is, I don't want these videos to be crazy, crazy long. Um, you know, whoever is going to buy this gets a surprise. Um, it is what it is. We, I'm not going to make everybody happy, but... I, but I am trying to show you anything that looks unusual. So, we have this one. Now, this album is not, 
it is not in the best shape. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Look at that one. Okay, like, I, like, like I'm telling you, some of the, these pages are coming out of this one. So this might be one that would work better for like a um, take the postcards out and then sell the binding as a junk journal. I don't know. You tell me. What would you do with one that was in this rough shape? Because, I mean, some of the pages are fine, but some of them, you know, aren't. Look at that one. So, that. Um, Let's see. Ooh, that one's pretty. I love these embossed ones. Let's see if I can. Maybe that one's embossed. Kind of art nouveau looking. Um. Yeah, I know this one. I probably should have shown your face down, but you know, we're gonna roll with it, people. We're just gonna roll with it. So these are most of these are like locations or um, particular subject. Um, if you hunt, there are some. There's some postcards in here if you're a hunter. Well, not my cup of tea, but you know. Hey, it is what it is. Um oh, these are these are pretty nice. Um these <laughs> Do this wedding one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I think I have some of these somewhere of her. more Let's see there's some humor in here look at this Valentine's one how cute is that and on the other page was little little Bo Peep um Yeah, she she's she's pissed off at you because you left your socks on the floor. Look at that. You left wet towels on the floor and your dirty socks on the floor, so she's kind of pissed. Um. <laughs> Again, look at the humor. How silly that is. Ooh, I didn't even notice. Did you see the parrot? Get the embossed. Ugh. You see, yeah, embossed parrot. So that's a cool one. So I'm thinking I might pull these out, um, and do and do them as lots or in um, some cases individual. Look, there's a a group photo that is a postcard as well. Um, because this book is in really, really bad shape. So, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what would you do with it. Um, I do like these two cards down below, mainly because I've lived on the coast for so many years. I'm always drawn to more coastal, and of course, this is Black Holland with the windmill. So, like I said, this is the album 
um, it is in really, really rough condition. So, I mean, I'm just kind of wondering if it wouldn't work better, like, to do as a junk journal, you know, and pull the, the cards out. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. So, that is everything that was in that lot. Now, what is the announcement? I'm sure you've all been wondering what my announcement is. I have been approved to sell on VAMP. That is Misty's and Michael Todd's um, district shop. VAMP is the virtual antique market that is on district. So I have been approved to sell on there, which is where you're going to start seeing my ephemera appear. Um, uh, not all ephemera is suited for Etsy. Um, I, I like being able to put it on VAMP because I can, um, one, the fees are better. Um, two, I think the audience is there. Um, and three, I can give it to you for a better price. So, um, so yeah, I am super excited. Um, so if you saw something in this haul that you like, I would start keeping an eye on my vamp section. <laughs> I was going to say store. <laughs> um, I will put the links, um, to, to my area in this video, but yeah, so super excited. Um, it's just, uh, one more avenue to uh, share out all these lovely treasures and rehome these treasures uh, to people who have a love of ephemera as I do. Now, um, I will also be putting other things on VAMP as well, not all just ephemera, but um, you know, uh, I have a lot of miniatures. Those will probably end up appearing there. Um, I don't know. Maybe that Cupid Carnival doll that I got. The 100-year-old doll. Um, so, yeah. So, keep an eye out for what I put up on um, my vamp store. So, and I'd like to also give... Misty and Michael Todd, a huge thank you. I, I am super excited, um, you know, to have this opportunity um, to uh, start sharing my goodies. Goodies, goodness, goodness, goodies, goodness. <laughs> I'm kind of rambling now, so it's actually time for me to go back to my, <sighs> my day job. Uh, so when can you expect these listings to come up? Probably, uh, more so this weekend. Um, you know, like I said, I do work a nine to five type job. So all my listing is done after hours. Um, so I would expect, uh, probably for the, uh, vamp listings to be, uh, more on weekends, but there was anything in there that you saw that you were interested in, you can always email me at bayoubelleventiques at gmail.com. Um, I will tell you, um, I have loads and loads of ephemera. Um, I know this much, about that much, you know, of it. So there may be a few pieces that um, I want to um, research. A little bit more I think um, I think you definitely saw me mention a few things that I thought were very unusual um, but yeah um, and if you think um, like ephemera lots you know scrap scrapping scrapbook lots kind of thing um, you might be interested in you know let me know because um, I, I have a stupid amount of ephemera I, and stupid I mean me um, I could probably list for a year of just ephemera. So, um, one one thing I really, really want to do is start making some kind of um, ephemeral lots 
for junk journaling, scrapping kind of thing. But um, we'll get there, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, as always, guys, give yourself grace. Give others grace because, you know, you never know what everybody's going through. I mean, the last couple of weeks we've seen weather-wise have been absolutely horrendous. So, you know, be kind. Be kind to yourself. And with that, I'll catch y'all the next time. Bye.